All right, part four of Sirenscape's support for this fantastic Dragonlance adventure. Here's a thing I'd love to ask you. If you have used chapters one to three, please spread the word. We want to make sure that everyone getting to play this fantastic Dungeons and Dragons adventure is getting the awesome, bespoke, perfectly prepared, easy to run, rich, immersive sound that Sirenscape can bring to the table. If you're just jumping on here, then I'm going to give you a bit of a demo of just little bits and pieces of this rich content. I'm going to stay largely silent and uh, you can jump around this demo if you like um, and, and hear some of the stuff that we have built. Do give this uh, video a like if you like what you hear and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're watching on the YouTube. Right, first I'm going to show you the Death Dragon Battle because this is fantastic vocal and processing work from Chris Kerling, uh, a wonderful sound designer who did this work. Right. Okay, we have a view of the city here. Very, very simple, basic ambience. Then I'm going to trigger the shadow of Soth, and you'll hear a few things get added in. Including that death dragon in the distance. Which you can trigger yourself as well. Specially composed music for this adventure by Barry Double. Double, 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 double. <laughs> I don't know, he's an international guy. I call him Barry Double. However, you say it, he's a fantastic uh, composer. I'll show you the gas battle as well because that's very cool. these English French words. <laughs> Chancellery. And spoilers. There's a lance. I suppose it's not really much of a spoiler, is it? I'll show you this amazing sequence that has been composed for this. Obviously you spend a lot more time in these moods here than we are in this demo. So things evolve gradually, often unusual, rarer sounds come in occasionally to create that really, really immersive, realistic kind of environment. See all the elements here of this floating tower all randomized. There's no actual sound in this one, or this one, or this one, 
or this one or this one at the moment but you'll see various different little bits of them trigger as they randomly time out I trust of course you're using really great speakers to play at the table or everyone's using headphones when you play remotely Sirenscape loses a little bit of the impact when it's just played over a phone speaker or little tiny laptop speakers. You want to really immerse your players. Okay, let's do the City Rises. Look at these three parts of the earthquakey rumbly type things going on here. As usual with Sirenscape interacting in unpredictable ways to get an ever varied experience. Of course, you can turn up things yourself manually, turn up that music, turn off the earthquake. Awesome, I'll leave you with Escaping the City and Reuniting. Play. Game on. Play loud.